What's up guys, welcome back to Newbie Style. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get max level in 10 minutes in Bloxford, guys. So I have a glitch for you guys that basically makes your level go up to the max level instantly, guys. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to do this glitch in this video. So yeah, guys, let's get on to this video. So first off, all you guys can do is just come to the first C right here. If you guys are in like the second C or the third C, all you guys can do is just come to the first C and when you're in the first C all you guys can do just come to the like the starting area of the game so as you guys can see this is the starting area so now all you guys can do just basically go ahead and go into the blocks fruit dealer right here click on him click on him again and basically go ahead and go into the fruits now in fruits all you guys can do just basically click on any fruit that you like and click on gift right here don't worry guys you're not gonna gift anybody okay so yeah all you guys can do just click on gift just like that and after that back out like this and go ahead and pick your like current fruit so just go ahead and choose your current fruit from here so my current fruit is like the uh, like the dragon fruit right here as you guys can see all you guys can do just click on gift on your current fruit too just like this and after that cancel just like that now how to do that all you guys can do is just exit this out just like that now go ahead and go into the jungle right over there so all you guys can do is just defeat the boss over there and you'll be good to go so this would be a little harder for you new players so uh, yeah basically uh, like uh, rank up until you can defeat the boss in this area so it's fairly easy to defeat this boss guys okay so uh, yeah all you guys can do is just basically come over here get the quest from this guy so uh, you have to get the quest from right over here as you guys can see this guy right here you have to have enough levels to like get the quest too guys okay so uh, yeah basically get the quest just like this gorilla king confirm so it's easy to get level 20 super easily guys so uh, yeah basically get level 20 get the quest and after you get the quest all you guys can do is just defeat the boss so uh, yeah i'm just gonna find the boss and defeat him all right like this as you guys can see this is the boss now all you guys gotta do is just basically defeat him that's all you guys gotta do so uh, one shot will do and he's dead okay so yeah it's easy for me because i'm high level guys okay so uh, yeah i'm not max level i'm high level so uh, yeah that's why i'm doing this glitch too i want to get to max level too so uh, yeah now after you do that all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go into the middle town right over here all right Basically, go ahead and go into Middletown, and there should be uh, like a weapons dealer. All you guys can do is just basically buy a weapon from this weapons dealer. Click on him and buy a weapon. So I already bought one. So uh, if there, so if you already bought uh, like a weapon from this guy, all you guys can do is just click on the same weapon that you bought, and you wouldn't have to buy it again. So uh, yeah. So as you guys can see, uh, it says I already have this item. All you guys can do is just do that if you guys already have a weapon. If you guys don't have a weapon, all you guys can do is just basically get a weapon from this guy. So basically go for the cheapest one, guys. All you guys can do is just get a weapon. It doesn't really matter uh, like uh, how powerful it is, okay? So uh, yeah. Now how to do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go back to like the, uh, like the spawn area. I'm just going to call this place the spawn area. It's easier for me. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and go into the spawn area. Like this. Oh, that's control if you guys didn't know. This fruit is amazing. I'm trying to get this fruit. So, all you guys gotta do is just basically get yourself a quest from this guy. As you guys can see, the bandit quest giver. Get yourself a quest from him. And use that weapon to defeat, like, the uh, like the bandits over here. So, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so I got the flint knock, so I need to get my flint knock. As you guys can see, this is the flint knock. Equip. And uh, yeah, basically I gotta uh, like shoot some guys and uh, like get myself this uh, quest completed. That's all you guys gotta do. Alright. And that is one right over there. All you guys gotta do is just shoot five of these guys and you'll get your quest completed. Alright, this is the second one right over here. Alright, that is the second one. And this is the third one. Okay. Third one is almost dead over here. 
Okay, third one is dead. Now all you guys gotta do is just kill two more guys and you'll be good to go. So yeah. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it takes five shots to kill these guys with the flint nut, guys. Okay, so yeah. All right. Okay, we are almost done with this quest. And as you guys can see, we are done with the quest. Now, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go into the bandit quest to give it again. Click on him again, just like this. Get another quest, just like this. Now, when you get this quest, all you guys gotta do is just abandon the quest, just like this. So make sure this accepted quest screen is here when you abandon the quest, guys, okay? So yeah, now after you do that, all you guys gotta do is just click on track on your, like, current quest and click on that thing and make it disappear. So uh, yeah, now after you do that, all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to Middletown again. So fly over to Middletown. Like this. Now, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the board area in Middletown. So, this is the board area. All you guys can do is just go ahead and go into the board dealer and get yourself a free boat. Just like this. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just get in this boat. Drive it a little uh, like, uh, uh, like this, as you guys can see. Basically, drive it a little like this. Now, all you guys can do is just basically jump off this boat and drown yourself. So, that's all you guys can do. So, basically, stay like close to the boat, guys, okay? Alright, when you die, just stay close to the boat. Just like this. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically find a treasure chest in here. So, uh, yeah, there should be treasure chests everywhere in Middletown. All you guys can do is just get yourself a treasure chest just like this. Now, after you get yourself a treasure chest, all you guys can do is just go back to the weapons dealer right here. Like this. Now, basically click on the weapon that you already bought. Just like this. And it should say you sh uh, like already bought this thing, as you guys can see. All you guys can do is just click on that screen. Now go ahead and go back to the spawn area. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. And... This is the spawn area. Now you guys can do just basically get a boat from this guy. And basically uh, like uh, drive it a little and die in it too. That's all you guys gotta do. Alright. That should be enough. And basically die from the water near this boat. Alright. Just like that. Now, after you have done that, all you guys got to do is just basically you would spawn over here in the spawn area. Now, go ahead and go into the weapons dealer in this, like, uh, place right here. So, it's a sword dealer, not a weapons dealer. All you guys got to do is just click on a katana or a cutlass and get yourself a katana or a cutlass. If you guys already have this, it should say that. So, uh, yeah. Now, basically, all you guys got to do is just kill one, like, uh, uh, like, enemy with this. You don't have to get the cuts, guys, okay? So, yeah. All you guys got to do is just kill one enemy and you'll be good to go. Okay, and as you guys can see, we are done. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go into the blocks for dealer right here. Click on him and basically click on continue like this. And now, all you guys can do is just click on view on every single one of these like uh, fruits right over here. As you guys can see, so if you guys have equip on like some of the fruits, you don't need to click on uh, equip guys. Okay, so yeah. Alright, just like this. So there's not much, so it would be easy. So uh, yeah, so uh, uh, nothing happens if you like skip one or two guys. Okay, so uh, yeah. Alright, string. Okay, I actually have the Buddha, so yeah. Okay, and we are almost done. Just like that. Alright, light right over here. Okay. Revive, dark, sand, ice, falcon, flame. We want the spike, smoke, bomb. And after that spring, and after that chop, and after that spin, and kilo. So, uh, yeah, now after you do that, all you guys can do is just exit this, 
Click on this again. Now all you guys can do just basically wait until like the block through dealers like shop refreshes. So as you guys can see, so it takes four hours to reset. All you guys can do just basically wait four hours. And after those four hours, when like the block through dealers like shop hits zero, all you guys can do is just basically leave the game and basically like come into the game right over here. And you should basically level up to the max level. So yeah, guys, that is it from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.